Cardinal Zen reacts to restrictions on traditional Latin masses. I cannot judge the questionnaire but only suspect that there was considerable misunderstanding or perhaps even manipulation in the process. He said of the survey that the Pope Francis said guided the new instructions. Hong Kong Cardinal Joseph Zen Zekun published a statement on Wednesday saying that new restrictions on the celebration of traditional Latin masses are a blow even if they were expected. Many tendentious generalizations in the documents of the motu proprio have hurt the hearts of many good people more than expected, the retired bishop of Hong Kong wrote on his personal blog. Cardinal Zen added that he thought many people hurt by the restrictions have never given the smallest reason to be suspected of not accepting the liturgical reform of the Second Vatican Council. On 16th July, Pope Francis issued the motu proprio traditionis custodes, guardians of the tradition, making changes to his predecessor Benedict XVI's 2007 Apostolic Letter Summarum Pontificum, which acknowledged the right of all priests to say Mass using the Roman Missal of 1962. Mass according to the 1962 Roman Missal is also referred to as the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite, the Tridentine Mass and the traditional Latin Mass. With traditionis custodes, Pope Francis said that it is now each bishop's exclusive competence to authorize the use of the extraordinary form of the Mass in his diocese. Since the motu proprio's promulgation, some bishops have said that priests may continue to offer the traditional Latin Mass in their dioceses, while others have banned it. Last year, the Vatican's doctrinal congregation asked the world's bishops to report on how Summarum Pontificum was being applied in their dioceses through a nine-point survey. In June, Cardinal Zen described rumors about possible developments to Summarum Pontificum as worrying news. Cardinal Zen wrote on his personal blog on 12th June, I am not considered an extremist of this liturgical form and that I worked actively as a priest and as a bishop for the liturgical reform after Vatican II, also trying to curb the excesses and abuses. But I cannot deny, in my experience of Hong Kong, the very good that came from the motu proprio summarum pontificum and from the celebration of the Tridentine Mass. In his new statement on 21st July, Cardinal Zen said that he had no knowledge of either the questionnaire about summarum pontificum or of bishops' responses to it, which came as a bitter surprise since he was Bishop of Hong Kong during the period in which Summarum Pontificum was being implemented. I cannot judge the questionnaire but only suspect that there was considerable misunderstanding or perhaps even manipulation in the process, he said. Cardinal Zen also said that when reading the Pope's motu proprio and letter to bishops, he thought it conveyed an ease or tendentiousness to link a desire to use the extraordinary form of the Mass with a negative judgment on the ordinary form of the Mass or a tendency to link a refusal to accept liturgical reform with a total and profound rejection of the Second. Vatican Council The Vatican authorities should ask themselves and perhaps even make a thorough investigation about why the second phenomenon has persisted and perhaps recently worsened, he said. According to the Cardinal, the problem is not which right do people prefer, but why don't they go to Mass anymore? Certain surveys show that half of the Christian population in Europe no longer believes in eternal life. Certainly we do not blame the liturgical reform, 
but we just want to say that the problem is much deeper, he continued. We cannot evade the question, hasn't formation in the faith perhaps been lacking? Hasn't the great work of the council perhaps been wasted?